morning subs. So last morning, this is probably gonna be a much shorter vlog because obviously we're in transit today though. We have got a day out, but I'm assuming we're probably gonna make it a not walking very much uh, journey. So I've managed to buy Nadia a present, not some shoes. I can say that because have, I'll have got back by the time she watches this. Not shoes, because it's a bit tricky to find shoes that I think she'll like. They're all a bit garish and she likes sort of pastel and a bit girly or a bit blingy and they don't really have that. It's all a bit sporty because everyone here is actual runners rather than wearing stuff for style. But I have got her a top from somewhere that I think she'll like. But yeah, I feel a bit sad. It's, it's our last morning. It's, it's that strange thing at the end of any trip where the inevitability of time passing is such a fucker, isn't it? Uh, it's like my mum said yesterday, she said she won't feel anything about leaving until it's the moment of leaving, but I spend most of my time being somewhere, thinking about the time I'm going to be leaving, which kind of is that classic thing of worrying about the future, not thinking about the past, actually. I haven't thought about the past at all. I've really, I suppose that's one of the nice things about coming to New York. It so demands your attention and your time and your concentration in many regards that you're not worrying about what's gone before. You do worry about what's coming because you're thinking about going back and you're thinking about how long you're going to be here and you're just getting on with living. And I suppose sometimes that's where London can be quite helpful. But the thing is, where, when London's your home, it, it just becomes stressful. Anyway, Nanny Dye is in there. Um, it's an extra long vlog for you guys. Uh, probably the night before you watch this one, uh, Sunday night. Um, it took ages to upload. I've got a blind spot in the end of my nose that's making my nose look even bigger than normal. So apologies, as I look at myself, I just see a hunk of a great big nose. Mum's wanting to put clearer cell on me and I don't want her to. Um, and I was also thinking when I was editing that about the things I was saying about optimism and America and childhood and all that kind of stuff. And I, I still believe that, I still subscribe to that. Um, I'm, I'm a big believer in uh, the entertaining qualities of the United States of America. How are we feeling? I don't want to go home. Yeah. Do you wish you'd done more now? We did everything. <laughs> no. What, is there anything we haven't done that you wish we'd done? No. No? No. I didn't take you up to the amazing High Line, which no, I have I to... I thought that, actually, but then I thought we could do that today. Well, I can also, can also guarantee it's the biggest letdown yeah. in the world. No, no, no. I um, mean... Apparently just... the weather in London's beautiful, so I think green-fingered hell is beckoning. Oh, it will I hate be. to say. I need to get out there and start planting. I mean, it's already the end of March. We're probably too late with some veggies. Uh, are we too late with some veggies? Let me no. know. stop Stop it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go and have a shower. I've just, in a frantic, crazed manner, packed my case because I hate I packing. Call it packing, so right. it was throwing everything into Thrust it all in there. We're going to leave our gear here. We're going to head into town for four or five hours. Probably going to not do too much that's two foot intensive, though I do want to stroll up Broadway a little bit and see if there's one or two uh, last minute trainer stores for Nads and um, we might catch a film, Kel Surprise, but it's a nice way of Nanny Di doing something and not having to walk everywhere all the time. So we'll check in, typically. Next this is gonna be a much shorter one. This, no, not next time. You'll see them throughout the day. Oh. Yeah. Go on, anything you wanna say though, Mum? I love, oh no, I, I don't know. I love New York. I love my son. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm going to jump in front of a train. You look like Christopher Walken. Mom. I'm only joking. Um, look... No, it's been lovely. It's been lovely. Have you had a good time? <laughs> Don't, because I'll cry. I'll cry. Have you had a good time? Pardon? Have you had a good time? I've had a brilliant time. Thank you so much. What's been some of your highlights? Who are you pointing it to now? You. Oh. So what have been some of your highlights? What have been your favourite things? Walking around with my son. Oh. No, don't, because I will cry. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Oh. I said I'd cry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Mum. Yeah, walking around, that's been fun. We've been <laughs> battling away, moaning at each other. <laughs> oh, well, let's walk some more today. Well, let's. <laughs> oh, you sweetie. Walking around, I, I tell you what I've liked the most. I've liked the bits which haven't been the most sort of like destination driven. Well, you're a fine one to talk about that. Well, no, Everything's no. destination driven. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
but, but yeah. But you know, like yeah, but you have to have a destination. Like you have to get to Central well, Park. Well, no, you just have to have a destination. <laughs> yes, I agree, but it is nice just to wander. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you look like Orville. <laughs> oh God, he's irritating. There will be a bit of me though that will be so. No, I can't say that. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> so relieved. <laughs> yeah, well, Nadia says it all the time. Yeah. She's got rid of me for a week and misses me, and now you can get rid of me. <laughs> so, so I can watch the. Um, it'll be nice to see us. us the in vlogs. New York when I get home. Yeah, it's like a it's That's like really a family nice. diary. Like when I'm cooking the tea, I can look at ourselves and think. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, oh, 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 I wish I could fly oh, shut right up. up to the sky, but I can't. I can't. You so can. It's made me definitely want I to can't. Come. I want to come back. Good. But maybe in a year's time. Right. As oh. opposed to when? <laughs> How frequently are you thinking of coming? As opposed to in a month? As opposed to in two months' time, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Anyway. You were saying yesterday that you think it might be a biannual I destination. Was, I, think, I think it deserves more than that. <laughs> I think it deserves a yearly trip. Yeah, oh, right, okay. But as you would say, absolutely at the right time of year. Yeah. I, I, I've put it on record many times. Many, many I hadn't times. signed up to this record. week, but my Nanny Di was insisting. Oh. I would have pushed us back six weeks. So it's to do with my name. <sighs> it's home time. And it's the last night of filming Home Time before Mark gets back because he's on a plane in a minute. So he'll be back tomorrow. I'm trying to cover up the sofa because it's so dirty. <laughs> Can you see me surreptitiously doing that? I'll put my arm there. Maddie's just been skateboarding. Home Ed, home ed PE is to go skateboarding in the park. Just think of all, your, think of all the kids that have to go to like netball or hockey. That's only like once a week. What? Netball, like, like games. So do you think you'd like to go back to school then? No. Can't anyway. You can? No, I can't. I'm year 11. Yeah, but you can go to school and do A-levels. If you want to go back to school. No, I don't. We always say this to the girls. We say to them all the time. Kiki said that she thinks she might want to go to school at 14. So, um, yeah. We don't force them not to go to school, put it that way. Oh my God, guys, I'm so tired. You should see. Let me show you the state of the kitchen. Because, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to pull my wire out. So I've been, um, I've been recipe testing today with my ninja foodie. So look at the carnage, uh, which is, is how it, let's face it, how it used to be all the time. But recently, I've been a tidy person, so it's been really hard. And the thing is, I still haven't walked the dogs. And I'm knackered. <sighs> and I've done the yoga, and I've done two HIIT workouts, and I've cooked all day, and I'm bloody knackered. Sorry to just turn this phone on and start moaning to you, but I'm going to moan anyway. <laughs> Just waiting to get ready to go. Yeah. And what did you just discover, Mum? Well, I haven't really got a proper mirror at home, so I'm always, I never really look in a mirror. Do you not look at yourself at all? Hardly, which is why I go out with toothpaste all over yeah. my face. <laughs> but um, I was just standing in front of the mirror behind me and I went, sort of, this is my face, my 70 year old face. And then I went like this, look. Can oh, you see? Yeah, yeah, Everything, yeah. all the light, even my yeah. neck. Yeah. I'm thinking, blimey, God. I never thought about having a facelift before, but oh, being as yeah. I'm in New York, <laughs> if you had a facelift, it might actually take you higher. If you could have the facelift done above <laughs> your head, you could gain an inch. It is horrible how everything goes down. Yeah, it's gravity, I guess, isn't it? It's hell. It's We're hell. all going towards hell. <laughs> We're all sinking. Yeah. Have you got your head round leaving? I wish I had. No, and I could cry easily, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wearing my New York Yankees cap for my last day. Um, we're waiting for clips to come through from Nadia. So obviously we need to leave all our luggage. We're gonna not be having any of our kit with us. So I'm trying to see if I can get any vlog edited before I head out into that glorious look. That's the clearest, bluest sky yet. I mean, in many regards, we shouldn't go and see a film. We should be walking all day in the park. We should. <laughs> well, I was just sitting here thinking, so supposing all, all your, you did get a face look. And it all went up and you're looking like, you know, about 50 years younger. But then in a year it would all have sunk again. So, and you'd have spent a fortune. So, 
That's why people who have repeated facelifts and they're sort of 90... They, they can't look, stop. Well, they look in a perennial state of shock. Yeah, like Jane Fonda. Yeah, I mean, sort they, of... they, sort of, they look alarmed because actually behind the... I look alarmed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Pop your eyes behind a smooth visage. And it looks strange. There's someone trapped inside. Exactly. <laughs> You probably notice that a lot of people who have plastic surgery, they look totally shocked. It's the point is, you, one has so much loose flesh. No, I know. And it's more that than the fact that it looks wrinkled. Yeah, wrinkles, I think, show age. I mean, yeah, I mean, who minds about life? Like, men are yeah. much luckier because men tend to get... But also, wrinkles, wrinkles on your face do, do, do tell a story. I mean, yeah. I recognise that it is different for men yeah. than it is for women. But, but it's the sort of loose flesh, and you think, oh, it would be nice to get rid of that. Yeah. But at the same time, that loose flesh would all come back. Well, yes. I think that's, it's one of the oddest things is that when people go down the route of having facial changes and surgery and, mm. and Botox, people who have too much Botox, is there no, what I want to ask is, is there no one around them saying to them or seeing, no, there seeing that they're beginning to look stranger and stranger and smoother and smoother and rounder and rounder? And it's not that, see, the, here's the difficulty for me is that, Yes, it works as far as it makes the skin flat, but if the skin that's flat is on the frame body head of a person over a certain age, mm. it's not the right place for it. No, no. And so it will forever look out of place. But here's a contentious thought, Subs, and I often think this in all the films we've been seeing, and you won't, nobody will agree with me on this. I, my teeth aren't good and never have been, but they're the best they've been, believe it or not, all my life. Um, but... Uh, when you get very old people with bright white teeth, yes, I think that looks odd. Yeah, well, uh, in the same way, I agree. Probably, I mean, certainly Hollywood stars and our current favourite star, current current favourite old man is Bruce Stern because he's lovely and he's lovely and wrinkled ish, yeah. an old man look, and then he smiles and he's got this absolute low perfect set of gnashes. That just looks wrong. I don't know what you I mean? mean? Why can't they just be very not like mine, but very slightly discolored? Is it called growing old gracefully? Well, there is a phrase called growing old gracefully, yeah. Or maybe growing old to, disgracefully. Maybe you're not. I mean, the Americans think our teeth are a joke. Anyway. Well, they are. I hate my teeth. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, in the family, Nadia's definitely got the best teeth. Oh God, yeah. And mm. Maddie's got really good teeth. Yeah, Maddie's got lovely teeth. Um, and Kiki. And He's, Kiki's got good. It's just you and me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my mum had good teeth. And yeah, so and died. so did Grandad Gordon. And I know. So did Grandad Gordon. So yeah, I don't weird. know why mine, mine is... Mine were knocked out. I wish I'd had braces. It's this one bloody tooth yeah. here that gets on my bloody nerves. It makes me not... I mean, I do smile, but it makes me want to hide my smile all the time. But Nadia very... says she likes my crooked smile. I don't yeah, mind her from that do side. do like the crooked smile. Do they? But also... I like, when, hate my smile. I hate my teeth. I want to punch myself right, in the right. face. But where men are very lucky, and you won't agree with this, because you are actually quite a shy man, is that men get getting older? It sort of suits them because they, especially if they're not, uh, I don't know how to say it, but they get craggier looking. They get yeah. craggier looking, and craggy for a man is good. I don't mind craggy, craggy around the eyes. Very, very I'm just worried I'm going to become one of those eye baggy, jowly, toothy men. No, no, you can't have too many laugh lines, but bags are a different thing. You mm. might have to have your bags done at some stage. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Oh, blimey. Well, no, they no. are, ba I, maybe I just need to sleep. Well, that's very true. Oh dear, I've been so busy today and tonight that I haven't really done any home time vlogging. Um, bloody pile of washing up. When I'm doing um, testing recipes, oh my God, you think I'm, not, I'm usually bad with the kitchen? The mess I make, oh my God. And then I've been all day recipe testing and now I've got to cook the dinner for the kids. <sighs> and the thing is, they've been having so much, so many takeaways recently and shit. Actually, we haven't had any takeaways since Mark's been away. It's Mark that usually encourages the bad takeaway business. So, um, yeah, so it's been a full on day. And um, I think Mark gets back about seven in the morning tomorrow, gets into Heathrow. Um, which probably means I won't be here when he gets here because um, I've got my body rolling. Yeah, and God, well, I don't actually know what I'm going to put in this vlog today because I've got to do a live because um, Mark can't edit the vlog because obviously he's going to be in the air. He won't be able to upload the vlog. And you know what we're like. 
we are so determined that there won't be a single night when there's not some kind of a vlog or something going up. So I'm going to cover and do a live. But the last thing you want to see is somebody washing up. I wonder, I sometimes wonder if we should offer you something more glamorous with these vlogs. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know. It's funny, I mean, we're just loving doing them and we, we know you like them, but you do sometimes think, what am I actually doing? Spaghetti bolognese. Ah, oh, it smells so nice. Do you know what? I haven't been hungry all day today. All day. And I wonder if it's because last night I had a big dinner. Goodbye view. Goodbye view. I would have to say we've stayed at the 50 Bowery Hotel. That's its name, 50 Bowery Hotel, because it's number 50 on the Bowery. Um, and I'd say it's a really, I'd say this is almost one of the last remaining authentically sort of lived in neighborhoods. Uh, the Lower East Side is quite like that. East Village, I think my mum stayed and I lived there for a month once. Um, you know, Greenwich Village back in the day would have been Chelsea, Soho, all these places. But this is the most authentic, I think, sort of neighbourhood still on the Manhattan Island. So if you like to stay, if you'd like to stay somewhere that feels like a real community, a little bit edgy, you know, stalls everywhere, busy, busy, busy. This is a great location. You're very, very downtown. I mean, obviously, you're not as downtown as Wall Street, the financial district, which is that way. But you, you know, so, but there's good tube lines, the Canal Street and the Bowery Metro straight up to Uptown. So I'd say this, would you, Mum? I'd say this is a really one, almost one of the last authentic neighbourhoods. It's totally um, ungentrified. Yeah, it is. Totally ungentrified. Whereas I'd say that most other areas, Soho and all of that, you can see how, you know, the beatniks and all that would have happened. But here, Chinatown, Little Italy, it's quite real. Um, so, and, and because of that, it's, it's quite cost effective. But I don't want to go, Mum. No. I don't want to go. No, do How are you feeling? Have you said goodbye to American Telly? I love you. I love you. With all your adverts of things wrong with you. Yeah, why do adverts. all American adverts pre-warn you that you might explode, die, or have a limb come off? Because it's a litigious off? culture to end all litigious cultures, that's why. That's true. But it's worrying, isn't it, when every drug that's supposed to look after you can also give you anaphylactic well, shock. Well, they have and... to say all of that. I mean, I mean, every drug that does you good, there's some negative oh. side. Yeah, the yin and the yang, Mum. The yin and the yang. People said your sulpidine will be drying you out. That's why you need more water. <laughs> God, blimey, you're good, you subs. You're good, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a home ed day today as well. Well, every day is a home ed day. And um, the kids were just looking a bit... Sorry, I'm just going to... I was just wiping my lens. lens. Um, yeah, the kids were just a bit... especially Maddie, she just seemed a bit down today. So we were going to do a whole biology thing, um, biology lesson. Well, I say lesson, but it's not a lesson because I'm not a teacher. But we were going to look into stuff. We were going to do human body stuff because I'm fascinated by all of that. We were going to do a whole thing on nutrition and menstruation. <laughs> and um, they just looked a bit pissed off. So I thought, do you know what? It's such a lovely day. I said, get your skateboards and just go to the park. And they did. And the funny thing is, they'll catch up with their work. They'll do their work, they just do it at a different time. And that is one of the, the really great things about home education. But if I'm really honest, I'd love it if they were just in a really good school. I would. It's so stressful, <laughs> the worry of it all. Um, hmm. Hmm. Left our luggage subs. The day is ours, Mark keeps saying, but the day isn't ours. The day is ours. It's not ours. It's the day not, is ours. It's not ours. Should we go and use our. Um, should we have a coffee? Let's go and have a coffee. And then Discuss should we use whether our, it's our ours Metro or not. card for the last six hours. Maybe go up to. It's a gorgeous day to go to Central Park and then drag down to buy the cinema back here. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm really pleased we stayed here. Yeah. It's, it's a nice neighbourhood to live in, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, that's what noisy. I mean, it's very noisy, it's very real. It reminds me of Elaborate Grove when we were growing up. Yeah. yeah. Very vibey. Um, yeah. I really don't want to go. 
No, neither do I. With each step I take, I think I'm going to have to try and remember this, remember this. I was desperate for there to be another film on at the IFC because we loved it there so much, but yeah. there's just nothing worth seeing no. on at the right time. No. And also now we are dealing with time. Yeah, we have today. a 4.30 backstop where we have to jump in a cab and head to JFK. Did you feel that she, she, had, she was on it? She had a she grasp on it. Yeah, no, yeah, because I've she knows met. she's just going to hail one from outside. Oh, here's the frog again. Where's the dog again and the frog? Reliable about them, isn't there? There is, but that probably gets on the Can you tell? Something very reliable about them. I wonder if they change the battery. Can you tell? Oh, it's got a baby frog on it. Did you see that? Oh, it's got a baby frog. Something quite existential about that. That could be at the beginning it's of an indie film. That could be at the beginning of an indie film. Yeah. Look. I swear he did not have sunglasses on yesterday. Hey? He did not have sunglasses on yesterday. They've Actually, I stopped filming there and I thought, you know what, I probably shouldn't because I know people are so fascinated by the whole home educating thing. A lot of people are because, you know, it's just such an unusual thing. Um... It's, it's kind of wonderful and terrible at the same time, which I suppose is very similar to if your kids go to school, isn't it? I mean, the great thing about your kids going to school is you're not responsible at all for their education. They actually go out in the morning and come back in the evening. Um, you don't have to worry about making sure they get enough exercise or they get enough of this or get enough of that because it's to your children are totally somebody else's responsibility from, you know, morning till late afternoon and that's one of the great things about school and of course hopefully they're getting a good education though unfortunately the school system the education system is in such peril as far as i can see i mean the schools around here are just bloody awful um uh but then you've got your ups and downs being you know with your kids going to school and you know that awful school routine that morning thing oh my god and all the uniforms and the, oh my God, and the endless homework that you just look at and you just think, what is the bloody point of this? My child is totally exhausted. I'm actually doing the homework and I'm not doing it very well because I couldn't do it the first time around, let alone the second time around. So I know there's all those frustrations with school. Um, there's, there's, just, there's just pluses and minuses for both. Um, it is very stressful on Mark and I because we often work from home, so... Um, but then, you know, today they were here and we sat and had a great conversation. Actually, it was about, I don't know if they'd say it was a great conversation. I, I just, it, sex just came up. So I just started talking to them about sex. And they were like, oh, mom, oh, mom, oh, mom. And I was just going, you know, you know, the thing is in this country, we get so embarrassed about sex. But the thing is, we all have it. Most of us have it. I said, you know, and it's a very different world now for you girls because pornography is so available so lots of boys get all their information well and girls as maddie pointed out very quickly girls watch porn as well you're getting are getting sort of twisted twisted um information about sex so i said you know it's really important that we do talk about it actually i could see <laughs> though they though they were wanting to die they were also quite interested in what i was saying and they said to me, Mum, please don't say people have sex because then I've got to think that Betty and Teddy have had sex or, or you have had sex. Or... And then I said, well, I'm afraid everybody has. Everybody in the family has. And they were just like... <laughs> it was very funny. The final coffee in the rush. Maybe not the final one. It's almost, but it's alongside your head. But... It's big as is that big. Nice. It's delicious subs. I'm just gonna get some sweet. Ah! Mm. I just oh, I put my foot in it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, look at the state of that van. Hey? Look at the state of that van. Yeah. Which hazel? That beautiful tree subs. Look at the yeah. colour of that. Yeah set against the metropolis that is Gotham City. Got all excited about the Whackin' Phoenix Joker film. Do you like yakin' Whackin' Phoenix? Which Whackin' Phoenix? He's playing the Joker. In what? A new film called The Joker. Oh! Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> look at that, guys. Oh, look at the little squirrel being a proper squirrel. Where's the ice skating ring? 
Uh, I thought it was the other end. It's just too warm for it to be ice. Do you think? Freezing. No, but maybe the ice keeps melting in the day. Those rocks. They kind of, they kind of give the park an element of sort of like yeah. the wildness of Glacier National yeah, Park or Yosemite National Park. Mom. Exactly. Look at that view up there, guys. That dear saxophonist in the background. I think I've probably done the same bit of. I've done it lots of times, but probably the same bit. Yeah. So this the is the no, this recognize. is the most southerly part of yeah. Central Park. Where's the Essex house? Oh, there it is, there. See the Essex house? I once interviewed, bizarrely, in one of these penthouse flats up here, I interviewed James Dean's girlfriend. Yeah, well, a girlfriend of James Dean. Yeah, for a documentary we were doing for the BBC about James Dean. She had a view overlooking Central Park. Stunning. Courtesy of James Dean? I think it might have been courtesy of James, James Dean, yeah. crying later when we get approaching her. Yes, you have to say Hyde Park has not got this, has it? Or Green Park or any of it. <laughs> Toffee, do you want to come and say hello? She, she, she knows about the subs, you see, don't you? She knows about them. What are you trying to tell me? Was there somebody in the garden? Was there a fox in the garden? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh my God, she's so exhausting. It's literally like having another child. Ah, oh, so I'm looking forward to doing the live tonight because, um, yeah, it'd be good to sort of catch up with everybody and the whole dieting thing and what's going on. And so I'll be doing a bit of that. Oh, let's go back over to the spaghetti bolognese. So what are your must-haves in a bolognese? We were having this conversation the other day. Like my sister Dina always has to put an OXO cube in her spaghetti bolognese. I do sometimes. I'm a bit of a stickler for a bay leaf and a splash of wine. Not lots of wine, but a splash of wine. It just fills the kitchen with a different aroma. Bolognese with wine in it is a completely different ball game. God, it's so weird the way I'm not hungry. Not even the bolognese is making me hungry. What's going on? Oh, God, that needs salt. So, there was a film set going on up wow. here. But there's the camera. Mum, now's your moment. Go and ask to be an extra. Go and ask to be a walk-on. No. Go on. I couldn't. Yeah, you could. No, I absolutely couldn't. Oh, bring it in another screen. Also, she, the, the, she's her dresser. She's somebody, and she, now she's lo looking at the lines, and she's just had a coat taken off her. Okay. The director's just touched her on the shoulder. Now she's walking back. It's the woman in the camel coat. So we've just walked into the middle of a film set in Central Park. We saw all the signs of it on the outside. So we're just trying to work out who's the star, who's the extra, who's, the who's filming what. You can see the cameraman. But uh, there's a lot of people. Yeah, so what's your must have in your bolognese? What can you not bear? Like, tomato puree is another one of mine. I won't, make, I won't, wait, won't make spaghetti bolognese unless I've got tomato puree. What's yours? Comments below. You know I read every single comment every single one under all our vlogs mm -hmm. i'm pretty proud of that i'm pretty proud it's what i do every night when i go to bed i read all the comments i answer actually a lot of them all of them are answered by me if you're wondering i can never be bothered to put my my name because it takes so long because it takes so long to write the comments anyway but yeah because mark does all the editing i do all the answering but i read a lot of the comments out to him um all right, my loves, I'm off to get ready now to do the live. Can you hear what he's saying, that guy? It's like the first AD telling everyone to push back, shut it up. It does, doesn't it? And then taking a selfie. Where is he? He's going. He just marked it. There he is. Action! 
Final day in Central Park. Couldn't be given anything better. Though. That's <laughs> fantastic. You know, in terms of directing stuff, I've always had the biggest crew I've ever had is about eight on any one shoot because I'm always shooting my own stuff. But when you see a crew that size, Whoa. you think that they're all being a bit tight-lipped about what the production was. I didn't recognise any faces, so yeah. it's probably you know countless TV shows are using Central Park as a location. So it might not be anyone significant at all. It might yeah. be one of those chuckaway shows that you see on one of the chuckaway channels. But uh, it's kind of vibey though, isn't it? They're isn't just it? filming in Central Park. But you see how many people are employed there. Whoa, and There's the at least 40. Kit. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the kit, the kit alone. Yeah. All that support. And then you look at an independent film like the film we saw at the uh, IFC Centre the other day, and they're making their visual effects for $2,000. You know, they're filming yeah. it all at one location. You know, there are just ways and means. You've got to find ways and means of making films affordably. Yeah. Did you smell the spaghetti? I love your earrings so much. Just take a close look. They're so cool. Look, yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, Is it ready? Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Maddie's still out. Do you want to wait Maddie's and eat out? With... She's at rehearsals. Oh. Do you want to wait and eat with her? Oh, stop it. Okay, I'll pick it now. So how was skateboarding? Did you learn anything new today? Yes, I got my first ollie. What's an ollie? So like you have to like stand on the... <laughs> so like the, like, you know the bits at the end? Yeah. That make it flip? That tip, yeah. Yeah, so you stand on the back of them and then you like flip the foot like that and then it's like jump and I did it. Seriously? Yeah. How do you know it's called an ollie? Because like... <laughs> what a line. Yeah. Oh. And how was Maddie? She showed me the films of her boy. Actually, let, we're going to put them on the vlog, but they were shot the wrong way round, subs, so be prepared because it suddenly looked weird, which is so funny, isn't it? Mm -hmm. With her coming down that hill. Yeah. Mm. So, what are you doing upstairs? I'm talking to my friend. Okay, shall I call you when the spaghetti's ready? Oh. Looking forward to Nanny Di and Daddy coming. Yeah, we're near back. 7 a.m. in the morning. They land. Tonight? No, in the morning. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know you look like Julia Roberts? You're so beautiful. Go on then, I'll get the minutes ready. Bye! Bye! Can I take a short break? Yeah. Whenever you ask later today, on that plane, look like up there. Kiki could have gone on there with her friends. I was going to say. It's like Superman up there. Look. Is it plain? Is it too? Whoa. Have you ever liked ice skating one? No, I've never, I've only had a couple of girls. I was a good roller skater mm. for a bit. I remember you roller skated to work when you were Yeah, younger. I used to have, oh, no. I'm going to throw snowballs at you. Oh. Oh, Only got to go all the way up there. No, no, I'm joking. Boulder, <laughs> there's something going on. So the moral of the tale is always head to Central Park because there's always a whole host of things happening, yeah. kicking off. Whether it be people in the background doing, what's that slow movement? We're going this way. Oh yeah, Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Or whether it be a film being made or suddenly an acapella outfit suddenly singing on top of a 
rocky promontory. You name it, shit happens. Ripe strawberry, ripe. Ripe strawberry, ripe. Who will buy my sweet red roses? Any knives to grind, lady? Any knives to grind, lady? See, if Mark was here now, he would have stopped me singing within five seconds because he hates it so much. I love singing for musicals. Who will buy this wonderful morning? Such a sky you never did see. Who will tie it up in a ribbon and put it in a box for me? What's this life about, Sobs? You're having a moment? I'm having a moment. What sort of moment? Well, the sort of moment where I think, I'd love to live in New York, but would I? I don't know. I mean... You make very good use of London. I do, I do. And I'm very central in London by you sheer... Are. I mean, you're right next to Tower Bridge. Yeah, by sort of accident and... I mean, ostensibly, if you walked half the distance we've walked here every day, you'd be in central London within a shot. I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three stops to Charing Cross yeah. from me. So what are you moaning um, about? I'm not moaning. I am not moaning, Mark. <laughs> I am simply having a moment where I'm thinking, oh, I love New York. What would be nice is if you could live... No, no, I'll tell you what would be nice. Third of the year in London. Third of the year in New York and a third of the year in LA. Yes. That would suit me. As long as he needs me, I know that I shall be. As long as he... I never know the words. Or, I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night, and still have danced some more. I could have spread my wings and done a thousand things I've never done before. Oh, Mark probably won't put this in, will you? Let me think of another one. Just you wait, Henry Higgins, just you wait. You'll be sorry, but your tears will be too late. You'll be broke and I'll have money. Well, I hope you don't be funny. Just you wait, Henry Higgins, just you wait. Oh, Henry Higgins, just you wait until I'm swimming in the sea. Oh, Henry Higgins, and you'll get a cramp a little way from me. When you yell, you're gonna drown. I'll get dressed and go to town. Ha ha ha, Henry Higgins. Ho ho ho, Henry Higgins. Just hey, oh, wait. There you go, Mark, do that, especially for you. I don't, I don't know if any of you remember the vlog. I can't remember when it was when Nadia was saying the research by doctors saying they're concerned about these AirPods and your ear pods or whatever they are. Everyone here has got earpods. Yeah, Does not. that mean in a couple of years everyone's going to have huge growths coming out of their ears? Maybe that's what's already happened to Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Trump. Trump's, Trump wearing earpods is just a hysterical image. Wouldn't you have thought he'd have changed his name at some point? Trump. Well, because Trump means to fart. Well, it also means an elephant. <laughs> eh? It's probably all these young, sort of like good looking, dynamic people who've all been to film school. That used to be me. Thinking, is this what it's about? Yes, that's <laughs> Waiting exactly for what hours. I went through. <laughs> yeah, for the something dawning, to happen. Dawning realization is bloody boring. <laughs> so I just asked one of the very good looking young guys who went to film school and has suddenly discovered that it was all in vain and it involves a lot of waiting around on average shit. I said, What's the production? He said, It's called New Amsterdam, a new TV show for NBC. And you went. <laughs> I've suddenly lost interest. Because <laughs> Joachim Phoenix Yerkin wasn't going to appear. Or... I don't know, somebody else hasn't... Isn't you it down there? snob. I know. All I know. that effort, all that I know. creativity. I know, it's reverse snobbery, isn't it? Is it? Or is it just snobbery? I don't know what it is. Maddie and I are just watching one of my favourite programmes. Though I don't know why I watch it, because it's so scary. 24 hours in police custody, have you seen it? And it's literally 24 hours in police custody. But the old series used to be just, you'd just see in custody, but this series you're seeing some of the crime and the CCTV footage and stuff. And tonight's one is so shocking, isn't it, Mads? So shocking. It's actually a stabbing in Luton Shopping Centre. 
These boys, it looks like they've just met up to just have a knife fight two o'clock in the afternoon in a really busy shopping mall. So bloody depressing. Just seems that it's just everywhere we look and everywhere we turn. But I'm a glutton for punishment because I love 24 hours police custody. 24 hours police custody and goggle box. Those are the two things me and Maddie like watching together. And everything else she likes watching with her dad, don't you? She doesn't really like watching things with me. Because she likes blood and guts and horror. And I don't. <laughs> We're here in Camper. And Mum, you've managed to find that they sell... Do they sell what? Toilets. Toilets. It's all the toilets. Would you find designer toilet roll? I probably would, yeah. but nobody else would. I'm going to show the up because what I'm going for, I asked the girls, I asked the girls, and they said either Nadia might love or hate those. Evening has taken a turn for the worst. Look. Subs, what can I do? Turn it off. You can't. You can't turn it off. Yes, you can. You no, no, if I turn in. it off, though, the water's still there. I can't open it. it. Won't let me open it. Well, why is it leaking? I don't know. Oh God! It's good you. I came out. It's absolutely everywhere. It's not going in. You're just letting it go off the sides if you want to look. Bloody hell! Did you not close it properly? Yeah, it's totally closed. The seal must have gone. Maybe the seal has gone here. Oh well, we're having a nice evening. Whoa. 85 four floor feet, 85 floors up, up and... Uh, so in heaven instead of hell. Slightly worried we're going to miss the beginning of the film. They should have pre-warned us that it takes you something like 18 hours to get to your terminal. And to get your drinks. And to get your drinks. Number six we're in. Jonathan, why have you gone? Huh? Okay. Yeah, I'll come back up. Gotta look a bit like a horror gothic horror film myself, don't I? Why does all this stuff happen when Dad's not here? Every single thing. We've had the boiler go, the fuses burst, the thingy, the gutter fall down, and now the washing machine. <laughs> Mind you, Daddy, Daddy's no good with these things. Well, I've got no choice, Mads. The water is there. It's coming out. Even if I turn it off, the water's still going to pour out. I know, but rather than sitting here until it finishes, because how long is it going to take? No, most of a lot of it's out. Yeah, but... <laughs> I've got no choice. If I turn it off, it's just going to pour out. So we've just seen Captive State, our last film in New York before getting a cab back to the hotel and then getting our stuff and going to the airport. Oh, I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was quite good. It was, Could you? it wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. John Goodman, check it out. You see the cab? No. Do you know where you're telling him to go to? No, where am I telling him to go to? Canal, Bowery no, 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 and the Canal. No, 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 I'm not, doing that. I'm not doing that. Okay, I'll do that. They've all gone. Where have they gone? <laughs> well, another cyclist for you though, Mum. Oh, Bennett, man. I'm not going to be in that film. No, but they're going... This one's got his light on. Yes, this one's got his light on. Hey? This one's got his light on. So you didn't really help us, did you? I did. No, you didn't, I did. No, no, he was... He, he, he came because of my red gloves, I can tell. Yeah. So we're heading where now? Downtown. To go where then? Back up town. <laughs> to, no, to the airport. Why are we going there? To come back to England. Why are we doing this truth therapy that I don't like doing? We're going back. We're going back. Mm. So we're still here. Got that bowl. <laughs> Second bowl filling up. I don't know what to do. Your tea's getting cold. <laughs> well, my tea is going to get cold because I'm here until this finishes. <laughs> Ten more minutes. Oh. Say goodbye to your hotel. Mm. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, it's a, uh, do some dancing. Uh, I don't feel like dancing. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're drinking water, Mum. I'm drinking flat. I'm not drinking um, carbonated water. Good. Subsorbent, please. You need to and you'll be sorted. I didn't have any salt in this one. I only had one because I'd only got one left. 
don't understand if, if you turn it off and then deal with all the water in one go rather than sitting here for 10 minutes. But I don't think it will, it doesn't allow you to turn it off. I don't think it allows you to open it. You just switch it off at the, there. Okay, I'll try. It won't let me open it though, because there's water try. in there. It might if the seal is broken here. So we've been left in the cab. He's just stolen our luggage. It's now like that scene from Airplane. Took off where down the barrow. We're left in the cab and we're never going to go. No. I thought those were three real people there, but they're not. There's a load of toilet rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Hold. I have to get them out. No, no, I can see it. It's all just going on the floor now. Subsidy seems very elated Not to elated. be going home and to be leaving his mother. And I'm just so, so sad. I can't stop the tears hardly. But what's sweet is, is that it's made you want to invite the subs to your flat. <laughs> so we're all coming to your flat. Yeah, it's very small. <laughs> I might need to put a <laughs> wide angle lens on. Exactly. Yeah? And then you'll be smashed out of the park by the books hitting you and yeah. paintings hitting you. Right, unfortunately, we weren't able to capture on film what this dog has just been doing, which was basically rubbing her ass on my yoga mat. I will never be able to get that yoga mat clean enough. She was rubbing her ass on it and then sniffing it. Oh, here we go, look. She thinks it's her yoga mat. She'll be doing a downward dog in a minute. Toffee. Who's naughty? She literally dragged her bum on it, guys, and then she smelled it. <laughs> she smelled so disgusting. Why are you looking at me? It's cute. Oh, she's been sick on it. Everything on your she hasn't been sick she's on, just it now. on it now. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, you've got to stroke me. Like, I'm going to have to get rid of this mat that, now. Mat. Like, there's no way I can get this mat clean oh, no, now. Oh god. <laughs> What do you want? I'm just sitting. Say goodnight to the subs. Say goodnight. So I think Nandy, I think Nandy is actually on a live now. On a what? She's on a live. So in a minute I might join it and just say, hello, we're on our way oh, back. It's so bizarre. Isn't that bizarre? It's, it's like nine, bizarre, I think it's 9 p.m. in London and she's on a live. 9 p.m.? 9 p.m. She's doing a live instead of a vlog because obviously, I mean, I might be able to edit at the airport, but I might not be able to get it out in terms of. <laughs> in terms of, uh, this cat makes the top of my head look very small. It makes me look like I've got a tiny head. No, no, no. <laughs> I look like John Goodman with a hat on. Oh, subs! He's already said he looks. I came like to John the conclusion Goodman. that my eye bags look like John Goodman's eye bags. Yeah, but they don't. I give them. So good night everyone, it's been an eventful evening. Washing machine broken down, flooded room, fuse blown, dogs ruining my yoga mat. Look at that, we had a long, long day and I've got to be up early to clear up so that I can justify going to yoga. Mark and Nanny die, I'll be back tomorrow so we'll be back to a very noisy house because it's been very quiet. It's been I have missed them, but the quiet has been nice. Good night, all.